Hello, welcome back to video number two of my broken ankle journey. This is my YouTube channel. Just simply call me Angela Williams. If you like my video, please like and subscribe so you can get notifications when I post the next one. Okay, so if you watch the intro in video number one, you now know I'm at the emergency room at the hospital, okay? My husband has wheeled me in with the wheelchair in the hospital, okay? Um, so at this point, my pain, you know, it's still manageable at this point. So they bring me in there and everything, and they like uh, they lay looks at my she's oh yeah, we need to go ahead and move you up to get seen right away. So we he, so then they say, okay, just wheel her over there. I mean it, the emergency room is packed. There's a lot of people. Like I said, this is April the 10th, 2019. Okay. But the 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 hospital room is packed, okay? And I'm like, oh my god. But then we realize we ain't the only one in there with a broken ankle. Like I'm not the only one in there with a broken ankle. Like it's other people in there with broken ankles. This one guy, he had broke both his ankles. Oh my God. He had broke both, I can't even imagine. He broke both his ankles. It was somebody else that had broke the ankle. There was somebody else that had broke the ankle. I'm like, what is this broken ankle, babe? What's going on? But anyway, as we're sitting there waiting, oh my God, y'all. I, I don't think we had to wait too long, but I think maybe like 15 minutes. But let me tell you, that pain started kicking in. I think because I had started calming down and after seeing somebody else that broke both their ankles and everybody else that broke ankle, I think I felt at home in company with people that broke ankle. But anyway, that pain started <laughs> started kicking in. I think the, you know, what you call it, when you go into this state of mind where you just don't feel the pain. I forgot what they call it. It's, it's a word they call it. But anyway, that pain started kicking in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Give me meds. But anyway, but anyway they pull me in this little room. It's this little, it's not... It's this little room, I don't know, it's like a, almost like a closet. <laughs> it's a little, it's like double the size of a closet, but it's very narrow. And I'm in here with this big old wheelchair and some other uh, hospital workers are going back and forth between each other. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm trying to like, oh my God, don't hit my ankle. I'm like, protect the ankle at all costs. And the lady was like, I see you hiding. I'm not going to hurt your ankle, but you don't know that. you like, they're going to bump me. And when it gets bumped, it, you just know it hurts. Your brain like, it's going to hurt. So I'm like, you know, protecting my ankle, like at all costs trying to protect it. But anyway. They just do the basic, you know, um, you know, take your blood pressure, take your temperature. And the lady's like, are you okay, honey? She said, because you, she said, you seem to be very calm. She said, because you got a very serious injury. And she said, we've seen people, as you know, the other people out there broken ankles and they're out there screaming and hollering. You're just like, I, you know, hey, I, I'm, I have a high tolerance for pain. I ain't gonna lie. I was in a lot of pain, but oh, shock. I think I still was in a little bit of shock too. And she's like, you should be screaming and hollering with this type of injury. And I was like, really? You know, you're just, <laughs> you're just in shock at that point. But anyway, they do all of that stuff. Then they will us in the other room, the emergency room. Um, you know, my husband helps me, you know, get up on the hospital bed. And finally I lay down. I think I was just, whoo, had a woo something. I'm like, okay, I'm here. Okay, great. So th then I'm nervous. I don't know what they're going to do. So then they come in and they're like, okay, um, you know, we need to take, we need to take x-rays. I'm like, oh, they're urgent care. take x-rays and they send them over. They said, oh, they did? Okay, well, we'll look at those and see can we use them. They come back. That's all I went through at the urgent care. Then they gonna tell me, they can't even use the x-rays at the urgent care because they didn't get all the angles they needed to see for the doctor to see. To see what the next step is for me, whether I have to, I guess, you know, get a cast or something or do whatever. So they had to, had to do x-rays again. Jesus. But let me tell you. The hospital was a better, I, I was like, oh my God, I was dreading it, right? Because, you know, what happened to urgent care. But the hospital, man, they came in there. I didn't have to get out of bed. They did the x-ray. I barely had to turn. I barely had to turn my foot, ankle, whatever. And it was a piece of cake. Very good experience at that hospital with that. So I was like, oh, thank God. So then they, they come in and they ask me, are you in any pain? I'm like, you know, yeah, I am. They're like, well, did urgent care give you anything? I was like, no. They're like, oh, my God. They're like, what time did this happen? I'm like, almost 2 o'clock. At this point, y'all, it was going on like 5 o'clock. And they were like, oh, my God. Like, it's been three hours. You have any pain? You're doing this good? You should be, like, screaming and hollering. I'm like, yeah. That's why I have a high tolerance for pain, but I think I probably was in shock. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, you definitely were looking at it. You had to be in shock not to be screaming about this pain. So, anyway. They come back in, they're like, well, we're going to hold off on giving you the meds because we need the doctor to look because we might have to reset your ankles, so we might give you meds, you know, so we'll, I was like, okay, that's fine. So then they come in, they're like, yeah, um, he's going to go ahead and reset it, um, but then after he resets it, you know, um, we're just going to wrap, bump, bandage it up, wrap it up, but then you're, we're going to make you a follow-up appointment to see, um, or orthopedic, um, to see if you have to have surgery or not, you know, to you know, get your ankle right. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. So they come in and ask me, like, do you want to 
we can give you, um, you, you know, we, 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 we don't have to give you anything to set your ankle, but would you prefer us to give you something? I'm like, uh, yeah, like, give me, I don't, I don't know what set ankle me, but I'm like, no, I don't want to feel whatever that's going to entail. I don't know. So she's like, okay, well, we'll give you, I said, well, what kind of anesthesia y'all going to give me? Because I can't, general anesthesia, I don't know. I have trouble trying to come out from that. I don't know. My throat feels like I'm closed. I don't know if I'm having allergic reaction, but I didn't. I I didn't want to go to this. She's like, oh, no, no, no. It'll just be like a local anesthesia, you know, so you just won't feel it in that general area, which is, you know, in the ankle area. And I'm like, okay. She said, like, you'll be, she said, like, you'll be alert if you want to be. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to be alert. This, she said, like, oh, we can give you enough to kind of knock you out for a few minutes, you know. I'm like, yes, yes. She's so like, I was like, yeah, give me that. And so anyway, so they do it. And well, she said, she told me. Well, your husband, now don't be alarmed. Your husband probably won't be in the room when you when you wake up from the anesthesia from a set in your ankle. I said, why? She said, because we, from experience, people, for some reason, when they're coming out of being under the anesthesia for setting their ankle, they start saying all kind of stuff. And one time it kind of caused some problems for a marriage, but she said, we're going to leave it at that. And so my husband was like, really? And they were like, yeah. So they were like, we're going to just send you out because, you know, she didn't her right mind or something. <laughs> I'm like, wow. They said, yeah, because you're probably going to be saying all kind of crazy stuff when you come out. But anyway, I come through and I look down my ankle. I come through, my ankle's all bandaged up and everything, you know. And I'm like, wow. And I said, well, how long was I out? Because they was telling me I might be out for 30 minutes. They wait a while. They said, oh, you did great. Like, it said it was fine. And you did great. They said, you was like, the doctor was like, you the easiest one he had. And when you woke up, I mean, you weren't even talking crazy. You was just like, you know, where's my husband or whatever, you know. And so uh, we had got his cell number so we called him he should be on his way back don't worry he should be on his way back but for some reason um it took my husband a while so they came back in they're like well you know we couldn't reach him so we, we still trying to reach him we left him a message don't worry he probably went to get something to eat or something like that he'll be back I'm like, okay. you know? <laughs> so then he comes back so i'm feeling good right now though because they don't gave me some pain meds too so i don't know what they gave me but i'm feeling happy I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. You know, I still didn't like what had happened, but I'm much calmer and I'm feeling good because apparently I got some good, I mean, some good, good pain meds. So they told me that these pain meds will probably last through the night at least or partly in the morning, like 24 hours. So they said, but don't think that you're okay. Do not walk on your hand. You, you know, this is just wrapped up. It's not fixed. Okay. I'm like, okay. They said, we're going to give you some crutches. Da, da, da. Do you have crutches at home? I'm like, no, I don't have crutches at home. They're like, okay, we're going to give you some crutches. So here's where the crutches come into play. So these little puppies here these things are dangerous <laughs> if you're not good at walking on them okay but anyway they do have adjustments that can be made um on the crutches i guess for your height i don't know if you can see that but for on your height um so they have me you practice before you leave the hospital so they're like well we you know i said well i need to go to the restaurant she's okay good we can practice so got me up with them everything she said you, is that height good for you one time i mean i was like like i like no not good for me so i was like no that's not good for me so then she lowered it down so then it, you know i had my ankle up like this it's bandaged and so i'm i'm taking my first step I, I i was on crutches before for um something else that happened to the same ankle but it wasn't broke but some it just could walk on it for whatever reason but anyway i practiced with it you know walking you have your let Bend your leg up and you're hopping, you know. And then she said, well, practice going backwards. I'm like, oh, what the heck? So I'm going backwards like this, you know. But you're just hopping along, you know. And so that was it. So they said, okay, we feel good about you on your crutches. Now we're going to go ahead and release you. And I thought I was going to get the wheelchair back. She said, oh, no, honey. She said, you're walking out with your crutches. We need to make sure you can walk with them because, you know, we don't want you to fall or nothing. And before you get out of here, I was like, oh. So anyway, so I'm walking out. We're walking out of the room, you know. They discharging me. Walking out to the car with my husband. He said, well, let me go get the car. So I'm waiting. The lady's like, well, I'll let you sit in the wheelchair while you wait for me. I said, okay, thank you. So anyway, he comes up. Y'all, I don't know what happened, but when he, I don't know if it was the medicine I was on, but when I took that first step, I said, woo, I went for it. They said, oh, woo, woo, And then I went, woo. Then I went back. They said, oh, then I went, woo. They said, we got you, we got you. I'm like, okay. So then at that point, they're like, they're like around me trying to make sure I don't fall. But I was trying to get in the car in the front seat. She's like, oh, no, honey. She said, you can't be in the front seat. I said, well, I was in the front seat over here. She said, no, no, no. You need to be in the back seat so you can elevate so you can elevate your um, ankle. And we don't want anything to happen in the front seat. So somehow I had to turn around, got set my little butt down in the back seat, sat down, husband took the crutches, and I was able to sit down. And just... Okay. I don't know what happened. I clicked the button on this little remote thing that I have in my hand. But um, anyway, we get me in the car. And we get ready to go home. 
and I'll pick up, um, we'll get ready to go home and we get to the house, same thing. I had to get home, had to wait any questions to get to the house. And let me tell you, I was scared, but I, I felt pretty good until I got to where I had to go up a little step in my house to get to the front doors. It looked like a little step. Yeah, I kept looking at that step like, uh, I'm like, I ain't going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. My lady, I got you, I got you. Let me tell y'all, that was, it was just a little step. <laughs> Honey, it was like a mountain to me, okay? But somehow I put, um, I put the front two crutches up here. I put them up, you know, I put mine's only. I just put the crutches up there on, on the step first. And then I hopped with my right foot. You know, it was about this high, and I just hopped. And then I was able to get in, um, get over that step. Then I had another step to get into the front door. So I basically did the same thing. My husband kind of, you know, helped me. Woo! And so I got in the house, and I was like, lay down right here on this sofa. This is going to be my home for a few days, as you can see in the next videos. But at this point, I'm going to show you a picture of what my foot, what my ankle looked like foot and ankle look like after it's wrapped up coming from the hospital and um i will continue uh, with this story <laughs> with video um number three so please if you like these videos uh, click like and subscribe and i will um show you um uh, what went on um that night and what went on um the, the next day because i think this was a i think it happened on a thursday april 10 2019 i'll double check that and then, um, and I normally work from home for my job Mondays, Wednesdays, Friday. And I actually, uh, <laughs> work the next day. So we'll continue this. And, um, like I said, hope you uh, continue to watch. Thanks. Bye. Hello, it's me. Okay. So I was recording, um, some other videos and, um, this video rather, and I forgot that I mentioned about them resetting my ankle, but I realized some of you might not know exactly what resetting is involved now i'm going to put a link down below to a good website that describes why they have to reset it and what is involved in resetting the ankle but basically when they say they have to reset your ankle basically the doctor has to come in and put the bones back in place like they should be like you know my ankle was like all like that they have to set it back right you know how the ankle's supposed to be back in the position they just kind of just like a jigsaw puzzle they got to put it back in place so when the bones begin to mend and grow they'll heal properly and grow in the right position and he and the doctor at the emergency room just did that temporarily and they banished me up so I could get to an orthopedic surgeon who could determine if that was good enough or if he would have to reset it or if he would have to um reset it put a cast on it or do surgery which involves putting screws and rods and putting the cast on it so it can heal properly so i'll talk about that more in other videos but i just wanted to put this in here because i was like they probably don't even know what resetting is like i didn't know at the time so anyway i will put a link down to um about resetting in my description in this below this video okay all right bye <laughs>